today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the shader settings, ex um, export texture settings, and texture set settings in Substance Painter and a little bit in Unity so that they work best, so that they work in the way that Unity works best, so they work best with Unity. One thing to note, I am doing this entirely free form with no script whatsoever. So I apologize if I forget something and have to go back and tell it to you in a little bit uh, later, but just bear with me. That shouldn't happen too much, though, because this is the third time I've tried to record this, so wish me luck. Anyway, the first thing we're going to do here is go to New. Make sure it probably won't default to this for you, but make sure you go down to select Unity, Unity HD Render Pipeline. And then metallic standard. It should be the only Unity one here. And I'm just going to use a material tester cube, which is just a simple cube that I made just for testing and demo purposes. And now back out. And the first thing we're going to do is go over here and if you're using if you want to make parts of it see-through you'll change this pbr metal rough to pbr metal rough with alpha blending otherwise if you don't need it to be transparent just leave it with pbr metal rough because i'm going to be demoing opacity as well in this i'm going to change it but if you don't need it just 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 ignore anything i say about opacity or alpha um and the next thing we're going to do Go here to the texture set settings and if you're getting a if you want to bake you can optionally bake a um, al bleh, bleh, bleh. words are hard sometimes you can optionally bake an ambient occlusion map if you would like i'm going to do that because i'm going to show you how to do it if you put a high poly model in here and you want to bake out a normal map from that high poly that you're going to put on, on a low poly model later you can also bake a normal map from here. I've never used any of these other ones. Um, I know curvature can be used for some of the uh, smart materials and smart masks, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. But if you want to use some of those, like the uh, like the edge rust, I think uses curvature. Anything that has to detect the edges of the model, I believe, uses curvature, either curvature, thickness, or both. Um, right now. I'm only going to use ambient occlusion. And so we bake that. And then up here, we do not, well, we can leave roughness because that will be turned into the smoothness later. But uh, we if you want to do any editing to this ambient occlusion, you need to create an ambient occlusion channel. You need to, we will, I'm going to an emissive channel because I'm also going to be demoing on this demoing on this emissive and then I'm also going to create an opacity channel you need to create the opacity channel if you're going to do anything with transparency or opacity otherwise you don't need it if you have a selected or baked normal map down here and you want to make edits to it do it using one up here make sure normal mixing is set to combine if you, otherwise, you can set it to replace, and replace will mean that it'll only use the one up here. Same thing for the ambient occlusion mixing. If you want to use this one and you want to make edits to it up here, uh, leave it on multiply. If you want to use just the one up here, set it to replace. I'm going to leave it, I'm going to do replace because I don't have one down, I'm normal map down here, and then multiply because I do have an ambient occlusion down here. Now, I'm going now, this is the, the part where you would do your texturing and things. I am going to just make a couple layers here on this one. Let's down here and let's add a little bit of everything or I'll put opacity separately. Well, let's just do it like this. One, two, th one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's combine one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three, four, five, six. Mm. I should put, I'll put roughness on all of them. But okay, I'll do a different combination for, of those on each face, just because why not? So let's make this. Well, no, I'll put all of them on. All. That would be that would be better, except for opacity. I'll just put an emissive, but I'll put all the other ones on here. Now let's move the height up a little bit, move the roughness up a little bit. Metallic up a little bit. Let's go over here. This. And then. Oh, well, actually, we don't need normal on this one. So, actually, I will do it that way. Let's do just color and height on this face. This face here. Well, actually, here I know how I'll do this. Okay. A black mask, the mask, the paint layer, and add black mask, and paint layer, black mask, paint layer. Using fill levels with masks and paint layers is the best way to do this because then you can go back and change the color inside the area um, later if you need to, or change values later. So that now I'm gonna make that over here. And Welcome back after I made that material. Um, now the important part. I'm going to go down here to export textures. Now let's put you on my desktop just for ease of access. Now this may not default to Unity HD Window Pipeline here. If it's not, well actually don't worry about it. We're going to change that in a moment. Um, I am going now. The first step here. This is where that custom stuff I mentioned is going to happen. Um, go down here, find Unity Universal Render Pipeline Metallic Standard, and click this button here to make a duplicate of it. I'm going to even rename it to something like Custom Unity Standard. I'm going to put a 3 after 9 because I've already tried this twice. Tried to record this twice. Um, you, could, you don't need the number at the end. Now, what we're going to do, well, the first thing you should understand is put the meaning of these dollar signs in between. Um, now, the first thing you should understand is what the meaning of these dollar sign symbols mean. The dollar sign followed by text here means that the, that segment is going to be replaced by the by something. So, for by the thing named. So in this case, our texture set is named um, Lambert One, and uh, you can see them by following the window project configuration. For me, it's Material Texture Cube default UVs. So if we go back to this, go to three here. Now what we have here, so this one, 
would be output as material tester cube underscore default UVs underscore Lambert one underscore veto transparency and then the top UDIM it, I believe is I know how it works I don't know 100% what it is exactly but I believe in top don't quote me on this but I believe it's substance painters default file extension that is then converted to whatever file extension you have picked over here on um, when you export um, so you need that there for almost all applications you can just leave it at PNG um, now if we go over here and look at unity you will notice and sorry about that I bumped my mic um, with our material here uh, we have albedo metallic smoothness normal height and occlusion we're not going to mess with the detail mask and we have a mission if you mouse over it you'll notice this says albedo rgb so red green blue and transparency a is alpha metallic smoothness metallic is r so just the red channel and smoothness smoothness is the alpha channel normal maps are always rgb um height map is grayscale that's the g that's the just g um occlusion is just g so it's just the grayscale and emission is rgb now to set this material up to use capacity we're going to change this to fade and then now if we go in here you watch it becomes transparent if the opacity is affected here now if we go back over here to substance we have the albedo transparency and from here we have we're getting it from the base color right here and the grayscale of opacity right here so we need to second okay i was just checking to make sure if we needed to change this to uh alpha and we do not we should leave it at a pass at uh grayscale and then we need and this is metallic smoothness so we get the metallic there's no way to do just the red channel so substance uses an rgb and then, and then you will only read the red channel and we are getting that from right here metallic and then this is the uh, glossiness for the, which is the same thing as the smoothness, which is a converted map right here. It's converted from roughness from the roughness that we had, and then we have the normal map, OpenGL, which is RGB, which is what we want up here because Unity uses RGB uses OpenGL, and I think don't quote me on this. I think Unreal uses DirectX, but I'm not positive. Um, and so then we have that, the normal map here. Um, oh, for all of these, if you got them from, if you used, uh, back, back to this one, I forgot, um, forgot to mention this. Like I said, I'm doing this free form. The converted maps over here are com combinations of the mesh, mesh map and the in, and the channels. The channels are the same thing as the input maps. Um, mesh map up here is just this mesh map, and input maps are just these up here, which means that because we don't have a mesh normal map, but we do have a mesh channel, in this case, we want to replace this normal OpenGL with just a regular normal and with the RGB channel. Um, and then we need, but because we don't have a glossiness channel, but it's automatically calculated from the roughness channel, we need to leave it over here. Because we have both an ambient occlusion here and amb ambient occlusion channel, we want to use mixed AO. So ambient occlusion, I believe was grayscale, right? Yeah. 
So we're going to make a gray channel. Power sign, mesh. Oops, that's an that sign. Power sign, mesh, underscore, power sign, T, next texture set. Make sure texture starts with a lowercase t and set starts with a capital S. Then AO, print dot, UDIM. over here that we don't have. Emission, normal, metallic, and smoothness, albedo, and transparency. So looks like we just need height. Height I know is also grayscale, so we're going to go over here. Dollar sign on mesh, underscore, dollar sign, texture set, underscore, says well it only says four why because we need to go back over here and change this to our new format then now if we go back over here there we go there's all six of our maps and then i'm going to change it to my desktop for easy access and then export and all six of our maps were created and see see what i told you a second ago or a couple minutes ago this is the name of the mesh, underscore the name of the texture set, underscore that text, and then the extension. See? We can close this, minimize this, and then for the sake of ease, for the sake of time, because I'm already approaching 30 minutes, which is really, really long, I'm just going to drag these straight in here off of my other screen. And then now I go up here. Remember, I said make sure this is set to fade if you want any opacity and metallic alpha. And now we have this is LVO transparency. This is a this is a fusion. This is emission. This is height. This is metallic smoothness. And this is normal, and we need to convert this to a normal map. Okay. It took a while, but I ended up just uh, remaking a whole new cube with whole new textures on it. Because I had the UVs wrong in that cube. I used the wrong, I stuck the wrong cube beginning. I meant to use the stacked UVs one, not the default UVs, and I used the wrong one. So I ended up remaking it with a whole new thing. But anyway, now that we're back, this one is a. This one is. I forgot to put anything in for a mission. Oh well, whatever. Well, I'll just make it a color then. How about bright yellow? Let's make it a, give it a yellow hue, whatever. Or here. There we go. The last uh, act as a mask. Aha. Okay. Genius powers. Height. Metallic smoothness. And normal. And fix. And there you go. Everything else that I did, I did the same as I did with this one, as I did with the other one that I showed you guys. Um, yeah. Here we go. So, yep. There we go. There you have it. <laughs> 